COVID-19. Yeah, I'm just kind of enjoying myself being off of school and stuff like that. Not having to go to school because of this coronavirus. COVID-19. Which is spreading around the world right now. It's not a good thing, but it's allowing me not having to go to school or anything. So, like stores, like Walmart is open for me, but places around the world, like Walmart's probably closed, restaurants are closed, Sky Zone's probably closed. What I'm trying, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that everything's pretty much closed, including the movie theaters. <laughs> My thoughts on the coronavirus. Oh, uh, now, Haley's actually blow drying her hair. Hi. Hi. Yeah, she's blow drying her hair right now. Hi. Hi. My thoughts about the coronavirus. COVID-19. It's insane. I'm shocked on how many people are going to these stores buying like almost everything when it comes to survival. It's insane. Everything is closed. Everything at the stores are like gone. Everything on the shelf is gone because everybody's freaking out about this virus. COVID-19. And I can understand that because it's killing, killing millions and thousands of people. And it's, it's a horrible, horrible thing. And I hope that um, you guys are washing your hands and you're keeping yourself clean. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. The total cases for COVID-19 COVID-19 in Georgia is more than 400,000 people total. The total cases for COVID-19 COVID-19 in the U.S. is more than 11 million people total. Wear a mask. You can save your friends, families, and people's lives. Wearing a mask will not only slow the spread, but also protect your families, friends, and other people's lives. Wear a mask. Just going up the hill, guys. I'm just riding this scooter bike right here. I'm just spending the weekend with my girlfriend Haley this weekend. I actually got off of school really early this week. So Thursday and Friday, I had no school for Thursday and Friday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which Saturday is today. Haley's actually, she's walking right now. She's not over here where I'm at. She's actually pretty far out. Um, so I'm just going up and down on the roads with this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm just enjoying the weekend, guys. I got here Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Uh, me, Haley's mom, Haley, Haley's dad, we all went to, um, what's it called, David Buster's on Wednesday after school on that day. After Wednesday, it was Thursday, and I forgot exactly what we did on Thursday and Friday, but today's Saturday, so at least I know what I what I done today. I woke up this morning. I actually got my vaccine. I got my shot from the coronavirus. Uh, COVID-19. Uh, yesterday, we went to Kroger. I had my coronavirus shots. COVID-19. Yesterday, and um, it's actually on my left arm. So let me show you guys what that looks like so there's where i got my shot for the coronavirus COVID 19. that means that i won't uh catch the coronavirus by 95 percent COVID 19. so i have another appointment in uh april gotta get another shot for this COVID 19 sort of thing shot COVID-19 
that was yesterday, uh, on Friday, I got my shot for the COVID-19. COVID-19. So today's Saturday, um, me and Haley are outside. I, I think I see Haley now. She's actually coming pretty close now, so. We'll say hi. There goes the other car. <laughs> For a minute I thought they stopped, they were gonna talk to me because they stopped right when I had oh, was yeah. walking. I saw that. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, they're gonna stop. <laughs> this kinda scared me at first. <laughs> A lot of you guys have uh, been asking me how I got a uh, black eye. I'm just doing all my assignments, uh, signing into classes, all that kind of stuff, and um, just working from home, from school, virtually. Sort of like Zoom, but it's just um, Google Classroom. But um, anyways, I passed out. Um, I was in the kitchen working uh, from home on my Chromebook, school computer, and um, I passed out, hit my head really hard, and um, you know, I landed on my arm, my left arm, where I took um, the vaccine for uh, the COVID-19 corona coronavirus sort of thing. So um, I, I landed on my arm, I hit my head really hard, I passed out, um, and I guess, that's how um, I got this black eye. So hopefully this video explains uh, perfectly uh, why um, I got a black eye. And that's why, because I passed out uh, and hit my head really hard. And hopefully this black eye will go away pretty soon. But um, Reason why we're here. You want to explain to them why we're here? It's a, you came close to passing out. Yeah, at Dollar Tree, I almost passed out. Came close to passing out. So I went to the bathroom, called my mom, the one that's holding the camera, um, called her, told her what happened. She came and got me and went to the hospital here. First time going to the hospital. I've just been feeling with a lot of passing out stuff recently. Sort of like my heart starts raising and then you're gonna pass out. It's just really scary because someone like myself that's really tall, it's very risky to like have a head injury because you could fall down, hit your head or something. It could be really dangerous. So we're, we're here at the hospital. This is one of the nicer ones. So maybe they'll figure something out, what's going on with me. Because I've just been feeling like passing out all the time. So, I mean, ever since I got my first vaccine, um, for the coronavirus ever since I got the first one in March 27th, right? Right around that, March the 19th, I think. March the 19th? Mm -hmm. Yeah, March the 19th, we got my vaccine on my left arm. Five days after, we got my first vaccine. Five days after, we got my first vaccine. I was in the kitchen. I was doing my class, virtual, and all of a sudden, I just I just passed out. I hit the ground. I hit I hit the kitchen floor really hard on my head. I woke up, and I thought you know maybe I was sleepwalking and it's the next day or something. I forgot exactly what happened. I didn't even know what happened. So and then I and I went to my mom's room and told her what happened. I hit my head or something. My head was hurting. So that's when I when I I remembered that I fell um, out of the table out of the chair hit my head. I noticed my computer was open. So, um, I thought maybe it was just because of the vaccine, you know, maybe it's just a reaction for the vaccine, something like that. I took a nap the rest of the day. I didn't finish school. I just, I took a nap the rest of the day. I was just really tired. My head was hurt really bad. I got like a bag of ice, put it over your head. I felt like a lot better. A lot better 
And I, I haven't had any passing out after that. I've been feeling like myself until recently. I've been feeling like passing out recently, so it's just, it's just scary. So hopefully today, hopefully today, they can figure what, what's going on with me. So I guess I'll just um, turn off the camera for right now. They can fix my dress, because it looks like a burger dress. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just turn off the camera for right now. And I guess I'll just keep you guys updated, stuff like that. So yeah. Well guys, just a little updates. It's just me in the room right now. The results, well, it turns out guys that they said that I'm not drinking enough fluids. So for example, they told me to drink from eight water bottles to 10, somewhere around there. Just drink more water and stay hydrated. And plus it's summer, it's hot, stuff like that. So I guess it's just really um, staying hydrated and stuff like that. And also she said that another reason why I could be passing out is because I get up really fast um, from a sitting position to a standing position. So when I'm sitting down, she told me to take it easy. So take it easy, just get up slow, just like that. I don't know why, but it does. And she said that it raises, you know, your blood or whatever. I think that's what she said. So I just gotta take it easy, drink more water, eight to 10 water bottles a day. So, um, yes. I haven't been going to school for over a month because I've been trying so hard to get better because, uh, Basically, I've been having a lot of brain fog, a lot of uh, an anxiety, social anxiety, stress, all that kind of stuff. Um, basically, I haven't been feeling normal like myself, and uh, it feels like my brain has completely shut off completely. And uh, I started therapy and stuff like that, um, so maybe that will help me. I don't know, but you know, therapy's there. Uh, talk about your feelings, how you feel. So maybe it'll help me. But yeah, um, I haven't been in school for over a month. And the reason why is because of my social anxiety. I'm scared of something happening, especially something like the worst thing that will happen. Like my brain is telling me, like if you go in public or whatever, then the worst thing will happen and i know my brain is trying to trick me or whatever but anyways a month ago uh basically I, uh, I passed out about a month ago at my high school i was at the parking lot at my high school hanging out with my friends before class started at 8 30. so we we were hanging out before 8 30 and basically I was uh, sitting down on the concrete and I got up too fast, I passed out, the ambulance took me to the hospital. So um, basically uh, that happened and that was the last time that, you know, I went to school. So basically uh, today's Monday and uh, I called my high school and uh, I talked to uh, a counselor and uh, basically I was telling her like, I'm so worried about my grades because my grades dropped completely and you know, stuff like that, it's not good. So, I mean, that's like a month worth of work right there. I mean, that's crazy. So, you know, um, she told me that, you know, I, I need to come back to school, work, you know, do your best. It might not be as bad as I think it will, you know. Um, so, I guess tomorrow on uh, Wednesday, I'll go back to school every day again. Hopefully nothing bad happens. So, 
um, I'll bring water with me. I'll stay hydrated. I'll vlog for you guys. I'll, uh, I'll do more of the school vlog for you guys and stuff like that. Um, focus on uh, getting my work turned in so that I can pass my classes. Um, so I do want to go back to school because I, I, I miss my friends. I miss being able to socialize with my friends and um, stuff like that. So I guess I'll go back to school uh, tomorrow on uh, Tuesday and I will uh, vlog that for you guys. So hopefully it goes well. You guys will find out tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so I guess as things are said, I'll go back to school, I guess. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a shot and see how it goes. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll focus. I'll focus on school. I'll finish my senior year. I'll graduate next year in 2022. I'll work really hard. I'm going to work really hard, guys. Also, I'm going to focus on my mental health. And try to get that mental clarity to come back because I can't I can't even think clearly right now <laughs> um, I don't feel like myself uh, a lot of brain fog I can't think clearly and uh, trying to focus on my uh, schoolwork and uh, my uh, my friends my family uh, my relationship with my girlfriend. I have a lot of things going on right now and basically I've been trying to figure out what's going on with me because you know uh, reality's kinda off um, can't think clearly overall I don't feel comfortable filming videos right now and I think I think it's best for me to not film videos if I don't feel comfortable with it right now and focus on uh, focus on things that I want to right now focus on school I'll be uh, graduating uh, next year in 2022 that's the plan so um, right now focusing on uh, school and uh, graduating next year in 2022 so I'm focusing on that. I want that to happen, so I have to make that happen. So um, I'm focusing on that, finishing high school, um, focusing on my friends, my family, my girlfriend, you know, my relationship with her and everything. I had a good Halloween, guys. My Halloween was good. I went to uh, fall festivals with my girlfriend and uh, getting out of the house. Uh, I pushed myself, <laughs> my girlfriend pushed me to uh, get out of the house. Um, I got to the point to where, you know, I don't want to do anything. All I want to do is just sleep. And that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm glad that now um, I'm making improvements on myself. Getting out of the house. Finally getting out of the house. And uh, I haven't been outside as much now, and uh, I need to improve that. I need to make improvements with that. <sighs> it's boring outside right now because it's like I can't enjoy anything, it seems like. <laughs> I pushed myself to get out of the house, <laughs> as well as my girlfriend. She wanted me to uh, go to the fall festivals with her and uh, go trick-or-treating with her as well for Halloween. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Hopefully it's nothing serious, guys. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for the best, guys. I'm hoping for the best for myself right now because it's been a tough year, guys. It's been a tough year for me. Um, I've been through so much this year. It's been a tough time, guys. It's been a really tough time. A lot of stress. <laughs> but yeah, definitely uh, get outside more and uh, focus on myself, my mental health, ride my bike, go jump on a trampoline, uh, fight with my stick or whatever. I guess I'll focus on school, uh, finish high school, and 
graduate next year in 2022. Tomorrow's Friday, finally. <laughs> I get to see my girlfriend and maybe I'll vlog it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if she's comfortable with that or not. Um, all right, guys. Dab on those hairs. Yeah. <laughs>